Your web stories aren't making it to discover, look crappy on certain phones or have videos that fail to play? Let's take a look at how you can test your web stories. Web stories are open web documents, just like pages on websites. They can appear on various surfaces like search, discover, social media, messaging apps and more. Testing web stories ensures that they're high quality and contain all the necessary artifacts. Doing this provides the best experience for all your users. While the galaxy of testing is limitless, I want to point out that it is not required. You can certainly publish great web stories with minimal or no testing, but following some of the suggestions in this video can help fix some common errors. Especially if you're publishing on a regular basis, taking some time to test one of your stories can help you avoid mistakes for the next one. To start, once your story is created, run through some simple visual checks to make sure the story looks good for all your users. We touched on some of these in the metadata episode, but to summarize, make sure that the poster or cover image for the story does not contain any text that is burned into it, and try to limit the title of the story to 70 characters or less to avoid any truncation. Also avoid walls of text by limiting the text on individual pages to less than 300 characters. Make sure the font used is not too small and is readable. Next. Check to make sure your web stories look good across different mobile devices and screen sizes. However, not all of us have a box of devices lying around. You can simulate several mobile devices using a simple browser URL hack. Simply append hash development equals one to the end of your story URL and you'll see this handy preview tool. We recommend checking how your story looks on common devices like Moto G4, iPhone 5, iPhone 10, and Pixel 2. Make sure you check that your text does not overflow unexpectedly is not blocked by other images on the screen and does not merge in with the background. Web stories use the AMP format under the hood, which utilizes a strict concept of source code validation. I know I sound like I'm getting ultra technical, but don't despair. Most of the time, you don't have to worry about this, as most visual editors already produce valid stories out of the box. Sometimes, however, a certain WordPress plugin that went rogue or some other process on your web server might cause havoc to the final output. So it's a great idea to make sure your web stories are valid once you've produced them. Because if they're not, they for example won't appear on Google Discover Story Carousel. So it's definitely in your interest to do a quick check. The easiest way to do this is via the Web Stories Google Test Tool. This tool also reports on the validity of so-called structured data you have specified within your story. Google Search uses structured data to enable special search result features and enhancements. Again, most of the time this is generated automatically for you, but it's useful to learn about this stuff. From within this tool, you may also preview how your story will appear in Google Search. As a bonus, we recommend checking your story against the Rich Results Test Tool. This helps determine whether your content will show up as a search result beyond just the standard blue links, for instance in a Visual Stories block. I also highly recommend reviewing Storytimes episode 10 which covers some of the crucial metadata and artifacts we recommend your story contains. Now that your story looks good and can in theory be indexed, let's make sure Google and other web crawlers can actually get to it. First, link to your web story directly from regular pages on your website or add your stories into your sitemap. Certain tools like Web Stories for WordPress do this automatically for you, but best to check if you're unsure. If you want to create a new sitemap specific to web stories, Make sure it is available to Google via one of the many mechanisms on this help page. Second, check your story against the URL inspection tool in the search console. I already mentioned this tool earlier, but what does it actually do? It tests for a number of things, including checking that your web story isn't blocked to Googlebot, your web story is self-canonical, your web story has no known crawl issues, and more. So that was a whirlwind tour into the world of testing web stories. Making sure your stories are visually beautiful and engaging, as well as technically sound and discoverable, will go a long way in building trust and viewership with readers. We've converted the steps above into a checklist in the description. And of course, we've linked to the various tools showcased. Thanks for tuning in and happy testing. Onwards.